Hi, my name is Chris Wong and I'm a Senior Applications Engineer with Avagon Technologies in the Fiber Optic Products Division. We're here at OFC 2011 in Los Angeles, California. Um, so the USB 3 specification actually came out a couple years ago, but it's only now that we're actually seeing a number of laptops and peripherals with the USB 3 type interface. Uh, so the USB 3, also known as the Super Speed Bus, has actual throughput of about 10 times that of USB 2, or up to about 5 gigabits per second. So with this uh, increased data rate, there's actually a trade-off. Um, your, your normal copper cables are actually limited in the link length, um, and so there's actually a number of applications where you might actually need a optical interconnect in order to get the distance. So uh, today we're going to be talking about the uh, Avago Technologies USB 3 active optical cable, uh, which could provide a lot of flexibility in terms of link length without, without having to uh, sacrifice the speed and your signal integrity. So we're going to take a look at the poster first. Uh, so right here, uh, essentially we've partnered with a company called Via Labs. Uh, as well as FOSI, uh, Fiber Optic Communications. Uh, and what we're demonstrating is essentially a emulation of what's known as a zero client. Um, and it's actually, you could actually have a number of remote users um, or a number of what's known as zero clients. So if you look down here, this is the VIA Labs board and is essentially uh, used as a USB 2 type aggregator you're able to connect a number of USB 2 type devices um, and essentially uh, they are all aggregating to a USB 3 backbone using the Avago Technologies USB 3 uh, active optical cable. So what we have here connected is a monitor, a mouse and keyboard and, and speakers um, and it travels through up to 100 meters using the Avago Technologies active optical cable back to this laptop which is essentially used as a server. Um, so a number of your remote terminals or remote users could actually share um, the, the computing power of one single server. In addition, you could actually add a number of what's essentially remote media. So here we have a uh, commercially available USB 3 enabled um, Blu-ray player. This is a USB 3 hard disk. And here it's all connecting using a USB 3 hub. And this hub is actually again connected to the laptop which is acting as their server through the Avago Technologies Active Optical Cable USB 3. Uh, and actually you're able to run your remote media up to 100 meters away and actually have a number of remote users or zero client terminals also 100 meters away. And so that's one of the applications uh, that you could use the active optical cables. For example, in a classroom where your central server is, say, at the teacher's desk, and you have a number of students, instead of having 15 different laptops, you could actually set up 15 different uh, zero client terminals. So the Savago Technologies USB 3 active optical cable, the actual active components in, are integrated into the cable. So in this section right here is actually a PCB the Vago Technologies 850 nanometer Vixel uh, pin, as well as a highly integrated IC for laser driving, receiver circuitry, and also digital functions. So this USB 3 active optical cable by Avago Technologies has a maximum length distance of 100 meters at 5 gigabits per second. So it's able to surpass the limitations of copper interconnects, uh, and it, you're able to go 100 meters at 5 gigabits per second um, while still maintaining the low cost and the low power typically seen in consumer markets. So thank you everyone for visiting us at OFC 2011. Uh, for more information on our demos, please visit us at avagotech.com.